Step into the nostalgic world of the classic American television show that entertained audiences throughout the late 60 seconds and 70 seconds. Have you ever wondered about the first time you tuned into Hee Haw? Or perhaps, amidst the ensemble cast, which character became your personal favorite? Hee Haw, a variety show that seamlessly blended country music performances with sketch comedy, left an indelible mark on the hearts of viewers. Before we dive into the random tidbits about the show, let's take a moment to reflect on your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this timeless series. We're eager to hear your stories and memories. Feel free to share them in the comments below. Now, let's unravel some fascinating facts about Hee Haw. Did you know that the show originated as a country version of Rowan and Martin's Laugh-In? The seamless transition from one-liners to musical performances became its trademark style. The show's rural setting and cornfield backdrop were not just for show, they provided the perfect backdrop for its unique blend of humor and music. Additionally, Hee Haw became a platform that showcased some of the biggest names in country music, propelling the careers of numerous artists. It wasn't just a TV series, it was a cultural phenomenon that resonated with audiences across the nation. Now, let your memories flow as you recall the laughter, the music, and the moments that made Hee Haw a beloved part of your television experience. Share your thoughts and stories in the comments below. Hee Haw, a TV series that emerged in the late 60 seconds, faced an uncertain fate during CBS's rural purge at the end of the 1970-71 season. The network, led by Fred Silverman, aimed to cancel it, deeming its appeal limited to rural audiences. Surprisingly, Hee Haw escaped cancellation but moved to syndication instead of prime time. CBS's rural purge aimed to replace rural-themed shows with a broader demographic appeal. Ironically, The Waltons, approved by Silverman as part of this effort, defied expectations, and became a hit across all demographics, challenging the initial assumptions about audience preferences. Little House on the Prairie, which followed, further disproved the notion that rural family-centric shows couldn't resonate with city viewers. The network later expressed regret for purging shows catering to older audiences and those with rural themes. Hee Haw's survival and the success of the Waltons highlighted the misjudgments made during the rural purge. On a different note, David Aikman, known as Stringbean, brought his comedic talent and banjo skills to Hee Haw for its initial five seasons. Tragically, on November 10, 1973, Aikman and his wife were fatally shot in their Nashville home. Despite the tragedy, Hee Haw continued to feature Aikman for several months posthumously, as a full season had been pre-taped during the previous summer. In terms of its inspiration, Hee Haw took a cue from Rowan and Martin's Laugh-In, presenting a loose satire format. This comedic approach contributed to the show's unique appeal, and laid the foundation for its success. In summary, Hee Haw faced the threat of cancellation during CBS's rural purge, but found a new lease on life in syndication. The show navigated through challenges, including the untimely death of a cast member, to continue its run. Drawing inspiration from Laugh-In, Hee Haw carved its niche in the TV landscape and defied initial demographic expectations. Shot in blocks during intense weeks of June and October, Hee Haw's production followed a unique rhythm. Performers, akin to a family reunion, gathered for taping sessions, later stitched together into individual shows. This approach allowed a concentrated burst of creativity, defining the show's dynamic behind-the-scenes atmosphere. In a pivotal turn, co-star Buck Owens departed post the 1985-86 season, feeling the show had eroded his musical credibility. On tour, he discovered the struggle of being taken seriously, prompting years spent rebuilding his image as a serious performer. Owens' departure marked a significant shift, impacting the show's trajectory and underscoring the tension between entertainment and artistic reputation. Adding a layer of intrigue, Donald Heron's portrayal of radio announcer Charlie Farquharson on Corn sparked discussions. Many saw it as a satirical take on Gary Owens from Rowan and Martin's Laugh-In. However, Heron had introduced Farquharson earlier on The Big Review in Canada, later reprising it on The Red Green Show. Notably, Gary Owens himself commenced his announcing career at a radio station in Mitchell, SD, with call letters that coincidentally were corn. These behind-the-scenes dynamics and departures echo the series' ability to evolve and adapt. Hee Haw's unconventional production schedule and the ripple effects of cast changes provide a glimpse into the complexities of its journey through the world of television entertainment. 
Hee Haw, a TV series that emerged in the late 60 seconds, underwent a significant shift in its distribution strategy. Initially airing on CBS during its first two seasons in prime time, the show transitioned to a first-run syndication format starting from the fall of 1971. This change proved pivotal, extending Hee Haw's run for an additional 21 seasons. Notably, the iconic cornfield set and costumes worn by the cast are now on display at the Country Music Hall of Fame in Nashville, TN, commemorating the show's cultural impact. Interestingly, the show's roots are traced back to the first season, including the pilot, which was shot in studio at WLAC-TV in Nashville. Originally slated for California, the decision to relocate to WLAC was influenced by the station's general manager's persuasive pitch, emphasizing the immediate access to a wealth of country singers in the vicinity. This strategic move set the stage for Hee Haw's unique production journey, creating a dynamic atmosphere akin to a family reunion during taping sessions. The unconventional approach of shooting in intense blocks during specific weeks of June and October allowed for a concentrated burst of creativity, defining the show's behind-the-scenes dynamics. As the series evolved, it faced notable departures, such as co-star Buck Owens, whose exit post the 1985-86 season signaled a shift in the show's trajectory. Owens, seeking to rebuild his musical credibility, embarked on a journey to be taken seriously as a performer. The legacy of Hee Haw endures, not just in its longevity, but in the artifacts and memories preserved at the Country Music Hall of Fame. The show's ability to adapt, coupled with its impact on popular culture, solidifies its place in the annals of television history. Lost Souls, the tragic impact of mental health neglect on Hee Haw's cast member in Hollywood's bygone days. Amid the laughter in cornfield sets of Hee Haw's early days, one cast member grappled silently with the shadows of mental health neglect, a poignant tale from Hollywood's forgotten corners. The bright lights of fame obscured the struggles faced by a key figure whose public smile masked a private battle with mental health issues. In an era when such matters were often dismissed or overlooked, the dark secrets and tragedies of this cast member reveal the harsh realities of vintage Hollywood. The unfolding narrative unveils the profound impact of mental health neglect on those who adorned the screen. Behind the scenes, away from the cameras, the cast member faced an internal storm that eventually took a toll on their well-being. Hollywood's bygone days were marked not only by glamour, but also by the neglect of mental health concerns, leaving lost souls grappling with their inner demons. Exploring this often overlooked facet of Hee Haw's history sheds light on the broader challenges faced by entertainment industry figures of that era. As the cast member navigated their personal struggles, the industry's lack of support and understanding magnified their pain. The tale serves as a sobering reminder of the toll exacted on those who entertain the masses, their mental well-being overlooked in the pursuit of on-screen perfection. This untold story reflects the darker side of vintage Hollywood, where the price of fame was often measured in the silent suffering of its stars. A lost soul from Hee Haw's cast, burdened by mental health neglect, serves as a poignant symbol of an era when such issues were swept under the rug. In delving into the tragic impact of mental health neglect on Hee Haw's cast member, we confront the shadows that linger behind the glitz and glamour of Hollywood's golden age. It's a narrative that compels us to reconsider the cost of entertainment and the importance of addressing the mental well-being of those who bring joy to our screens. This is a story that transcends time, echoing the struggles faced by individuals in the entertainment industry then and now. As we bid adieu to this nostalgic journey through the country-flavored cornfields of entertainment, I encourage you to pause, dear reader, and let the echoes of hee-haw reverberate through the corridors of your memories. Perhaps it's the twang of a classic tune or the infectious laughter that still dances in your mind. Whatever it may be, your connection with this timeless TV series is a tapestry woven with threads of shared joy and genuine hilarity. In the spirit of camaraderie, take a moment to reflect on your fondest hee-haw moments. Was it the quirky characters, the toe-tapping melodies, or the knee-slapping humor that left an indelible mark on your heart? Share your thoughts, your anecdotes, and let the nostalgia flow like a country melody under the starlit skies. As we celebrate the legacy of this iconic series, your stories become the harmonies that continue to enrich the melody of hee-haw. It's not just a show, it's a shared experience that transcends time, connecting us through laughter and the simple joy of good company. 
Thank you for taking the stroll down memory lane with us, for sharing your tales, and for keeping the spirit of Hee Haw alive in your reflections. Your presence has added another verse to the timeless ballad of this beloved show. Until we meet again in the world of anecdotes and shared laughter, thank you for your time and interest in the magic of Hee Haw.